In Gurdjieff's book, Beelzebub's Tales to His Grandson, in the chapter entitled The Organization of Man's Existence, Gurdjieff has Ashyata Shemesh say to his disciples that only he will deserve to be called and be in the true sense a son of God, who has in himself conscience. And in this chapter, the whole message is this, that one can live with conscience in one's ordinary state and this will liberate one. Now the time has come when we should set ourselves to understand what this means, what the word conscience means and what it stands for. Let us take one example from Beelzebub's tales. When Beelzebub's grandson Hassan asks him what is right and wrong for people, Beelzebub says, right is that from doing which one's conscience is at peace and wrong is that from doing which one's conscience makes one suffer. But that has an awkwardness about it because it can come simply from the suggestion that something is wrong. The way mor morality works is to condition us to be afraid of certain kinds of behavior and to suffer if we fall into them. We suffer because we are conditioned to think of them as wrong. This is a false conscience because it is imposed on us from outside by people who may not have any objective awareness. That kind of so-called conscience is fixed. It has no freedom to discover the particular requirement of a particular situation. True conscience is the other way around. 